the day approaches. Five, four, three, two, one. And they're off! And it's Wally in the lead! I'm not. I'm not even in the race. You're entered. You might have asked him first. He wants to be a runner. He wants to be a champion athlete, don't you, Wally? Yeah. No! Me, ma'am. You know what his mum's like? Look. 90% of the people who do the marathon don't get heart attacks. It's not a marathon you put him in for, is it? It's 500 metres suicidal. How's he going to beat Brickhead Jackson? Nigel Jackson? Nidgy? No, Nidgy's not running. Nidgy picks a run to run for him, and I pick a run to run for me. You're not a great picker, are you, Gruer? There's no wrong with me heart. What? It's my chest. Psychological. You're the one that's psychological. I can. And I will say it. I can and I won't. His mum says he's not to do running. What's he just been doing then? That's different. Psychological. We're stopping at the cafe. It's just a cafe to you, innit? It's home to me. I live here. My mum says... You don't know when you're well off, you. I'm never well off with you around. My mum says you're a bad influence. She doesn't mean it. Please. How many times do I have to tell you about leaning that thing against the window? I'll shift it in a minute. You wait till I see your dad. You should get yours free, Wooly. I mean, after all, it is your cafe. It's his mother's cafe. Back there it's free, out here. He pays. Lend us 20p. What's the use? You can't win. Wrong attitude. You can do out once you've got your attitude right. Put some porridge with your wellies on. Oh, I've speeded this up. Drew, I can't do this daft race. Your mum will come a wobbler. Will she belt you? No, she'll talk to me. You're lucky. I've got a dad and all. I get in stereo. She had me for half an hour yesterday, just because I went out with her my jumper. Nang, 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 nang. I shall look at the wallpaper so I don't go scatty. What's she say? I don't know. I'm a worry to her. Psychological. He's got a point, Gruy. If his mum gets wind of it, he'll never get past the starting line. How's she gonna find out? She's better than Superwoman. She can see him doing wrong through brick walls, and then she'll want to know who put him up to it, which is dead obvious. Your mum will know in point not one of a second, and your dad will knock seven bells out of you. You won't be able to say I didn't tell you. Yeah, if you try copping out of it, I'll knock so many bells out of you. You'll never ring again. You all right, Nidgy? No. Who's the opposition, then? Him. Maybe. What are you going to do? Put a rocket up him. Attitude. It's all a matter of attitude. I'm training. Mm. You do better melting him down for scrap. Who's running for you, then? Never you mind. Be over at Waste Ground, Saturday afternoon. Be there, I'll be squashed. Shift it! How did he get us into this one? We were doing athletics and Gru is mouthing off about how you could do out with right attitude. So Nidji says, all right, we'll have a race. Your champ against mine. Only yours has to be hopeless, but with the right attitude. Tell Nidji you were wrong. Tell him you made a mistake. Mistake? Mistake. No mistake. It's a plan. What plan? My plan. Oh. You're always finding fault, you two. Where's your team spirit, your will to win? Courage. Uh, determination. Victory to Wooly, the power of positive planning. Will you get down off that table? Get out of this cafe and move that blooming ball shaker from off my flaming window! Ah! Oh. Kids. Why don't you tell your father the truth? I fell off the table. Honest. What were you doing on the table? Making a point. Do you know what it's like trying to get sense out of you? Like having a close encounter with an alien life form. Well, he doesn't take it from my side of the family. No, mine. <laughs> it could be a Venusian. I bet they dumped him in our carry cot to sabotage the earth. <laughs> hey, Mum, do you think so?
have some extraterrestrial intelligence with secret superpowers who's lost his memory. Lost his marbles, more like. What are you doing with that bottle? It's an experiment. Mm. It's science. Mm. Dad, can I borrow your watch? You're not balancing my watch on a milk bottle. But I've got the day off tomorrow and I need to time things for my science homework. No. What am I going to say to Mr Pike? Well, if it is his homework, love. Oh, all right. Great. And it'd better come back in one piece, otherwise I'll give you something to time. Like how many years to your next bucket money. You don't mean it. You don't mean it. Try me, son. Just try me. Course. The brain cells deteriorate as they get older. They can't communicate with my generation. I'm like an alien life form to them. And there we have it. A surprise win for Peter Woolsmith. Has he always been athletic, Mrs. Woolsmith? No, he were a sickly lad. We nearly had him melted down for scrap. It's all due to Stephen and Quincia. He had it in him. It just needed the power of positive planning. Really? And uh, where did you get the idea for your revolutionary training method, Stevie? Venus. What? I'm a Venusian. Stephen Krukok, the <laughs> joker of the track. And now we... I'm telling you straight. I am... A Venusian. <sighs> One day, the Earth will be ours. Listen to me, Nidgy. <clears throat> Tomorrow, Wooly will be victorious. And one day, I myself will grind you into the dust. <clears throat> one day. Growie! Where's my dad? Gone early to work. Says he gets more peace there than he does at home. As soon as he heard you had the day off, he decided to move out of the fallout area. Has he left his watch? Hmm. I just you look after it. You know what he's like? It's his brain cells. Psychological. He's deteriorating. Oh, so am I. And for the same reason. Eat your breakfast. I don't want any. Where's my balaclava? The outlook is warm and sunny. Eat your breakfast. I need it for an experiment. And the safety pin. you before about rooting through cupboards, Stephen. I've got it. Mm, I am pleased for you. Eat your breakfast. Determination. The will to succeed. The will to succeed. Get on with it, then. You've ruined my concentration now, haven't you? I can do it. So can I. Let's see you, then. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, my dad's watch, then. And what would have happened if I hadn't found out? That's what I want to know. Looking out for you all the time. You've got to learn to take care of yourself. Peter. Peter, are you listening to me? What? I'm going to have to take you to have your ears syringed. Oh. Here they are. Mr. Mischief from the Queen of Crime. Steve Grook. You've had an accident. I can see that, Quincy. 
But well, he's done swatches all right. Aye, oh, it's his poor mother's heart. He's broken. Here, daft the pair of you. And he's the daftest. Get out of the bank and clean yourself up. And listen, my girl, Peter's told me all about this ridiculous race tomorrow and I'm not having it. He's not a well boy. Groovy says it's psychological. Hmm. Well, he reads too many books. Can I go out now? Please, Mum. No races. And I'll be looking out to make sure... I think I've got this alien power to attract disaster. Well, for crying out loud. Go and attract it somewhere else. What do you have to tell her for? He told her. He told her. She hypnotises me. Where are we going? Training. Gru is your trainer and I'm your manager. Don't talk wet. It's all off. Me mum's keeping... Me mum, me mum, me mum, me mum. Me mum's keeping a look out. She won't know it's you. Of course she will. She won't. I thought of that. She'll recognise me. She won't. Get it off. I can't really this. Prickles. You'll get used to it. Better look a right wasn't. We'll train you in it. The mystery runner, the man in the knitted mask. You'll be famous. I'll be done. I'm not a comic book hero. My mum will lock me in the cafe with her and talk to me for hours. Don't be such a wet. Go on, I'll be a laugh. For you, yeah. Oh, go on then. Go and tell your mum to change her nappy. Right then. My hero, Woolly. Training part one, diet. Very important, protein. That's what it says here. Time I went home for a visit. That's income tax. Rates demand. VAT. <sighs> I think better when it's quiet. Only when I think, I worry. And when I worry, I get a headache. Where's our quitsy? If she were here, she'd be yelling the place down and I could get a headache without the anxiety. She's off with that Stephen Gruko. Oh, headache and a worry. Why do you think she's so fond of him? Same reason she was fond of that one-eyed rabbit we had. The one that used to break through its cage and pick fights with the cat. Quick! Behind the counter! Phone the police! What? Too late. They've got us cornered. Still got them dented cans I cleared off the shelves yesterday. Dented cans? Yeah. Protein. He's got have lots of it. What are you doing down there? Praying for you to fly off somewhere and never come back. Woolly, why are you wearing that balaclava when it's roasting hot outside? He's a... Ah, uh, we're better off not knowing. You wanted dented cans? Yeah. Right. Take the box. And take Stephen Grucock and the Master Avenger here out of our shop and keep them out. Come on. The Master Avenger, that'll be your pro running here. We'll tour the world, make a fortune. 25% for your manager. And trainer. All over the world, your fans will be running around in balaclavas. Give them over. I've done nothing so far but sit here and eat cool beans with that idiot time in me. That's the trainer's job. Four minutes fifty. It's hardly a world record. They're full of protein, then. They'll give you energy. What for? Circuit training. Ugh. Brilliant. He's a champion. Isn't she? Yeah, what's it, Gruy? What are you trying to prove? What's with this blind kamikaze fence hopping? He's training. You're not running for Nidji, are you? Never you mind. Tomorrow afternoon, your mystery man's going to get running to the ground, no matter how many garden walls he jumps over. Now, clear off. Out of it. Great time. <laughs> no more. No more. You can have some more beans if you like. No more of anything. Or Annie Maypenny would talk and see. She's best running at school. What's the point? You've got to stick to the schedule. You've got to apply yourself. Ouch. Why, you only tapped it. I'm not bothered about that. I want some peace and quiet to eat my dinner. Out. Out! Not 
you. Go on, then. Look, I told you it was the wind that caught me last time. Windy's the word. It is, will I? Where have you been? Having me dinner. My mum thought I looked peaky, so she gave me loads. I had sweets all in case she suspected something. Sausage and beans. Loads and loads of beans. I hope you run. They've succeeded. I was up and down so many times, my mum thought I must have some sort of stomach bug. It's now full of that medicine that tastes like chalk and cement mix. Kaylin and morphine? That's no good for your training. I'm not doing any this afternoon. My mum says I've got to do the shopping. It was 15 round cheese counter corner. Here you come. 38 seconds. The grandma could do better. You got the tea ready? Yeah. Half a pound of bacon. Don't stop. Do that way. Go, Go on. on. I told you once it tastes nice today, and I thought this fed up with your behaviour. Yeah! Come on. Come on. Sorry. Come on, Wally. Sprint finish. Watch out! Brilliant. Brilliant. You're a world record beater. How much? Five quid. Pay want to pick it up tomorrow. You've not got five quid. How will love? You're mad. You've got to be positive. How are you going to explain it to your dad? I'll manage. Come on. Let me understand this right, Starfleet Commander. Just by chance, you happen to notice, with your extrasensory powers, that my chromatic, diatronic, electronic, easy action, digital wristwatch were out of sync with atomic clock at Greenwich. It weren't working right. Oh. And because you had the idea of doing something nice for me in advance of next Father's Day, you put it in to be repaired? Yeah. When you know it, they charge five quid just for spitting on glass and wiping it with a rag. I'll pay for it. Do flipping right, Mr. Experiment. And it'll be on my wrist tomorrow night, otherwise you'll pay for it in ways you've never even imagined. Even in that black hole you call a mind. You're upset, aren't you, Dad? Get my watch back. Of course, they get easy upset, Aldens. They're inclined to get a bit hysterical if you take the ties off her. And now, Starfleet Commander, give me back my time machine, or you will die! Too late. Your time machine is at the bottom of the black hole, waiting for you to join it. Never! <laughs> Don't leave home soon. I might. Mike! Where have you been? He's been going off the boil. Your mummy's watching her like up. She says she's going over at worst when the nurse is on. To make sure it's not me running. You'll have me balaclava on. You'll have me running gear on. How's she gonna tell? She just will. I don't think them beans are a good idea. I still feel a bit sick. You can and you will. I hope not. No, I'll win the race, stupid. You've only got a week all the time you did yesterday. Got your dad's watch back. Yeah, that's why I'm late. 
I've been round to see a few of the kids this morning, so I'm about the race. Oh, no. Just a few. I had to. Look, they all think you're hopeless, so they're going to all bet on Nidgey. I made him give me the money in advance, and I said I'd pay him back double if he didn't win. Then I spent the money on my dad's watch getting out of the menders. Cost a fortune. Oh, brilliant. What if he does lose? They'll all be after you for the money. Then what? Well, at least my dad will have his watch back. Look, you won't lose. Just imagine all them shoppers behind you like they were yesterday. Imagine Nidgey after you. I've heard you taking bets. Uh, yeah, but... Well, I... this says that Mystery Man here don't win. And that means I get a tenner back if I'm right. All right. Yeah, right. Right, see you after the race. Straight after. Got a win now. Or it's goodbye, Gruy. Yeah, he was here a while back, looking for Kutsia. He was wearing a very expensive watch. Mm. Is it a present? No, no, it's a liability. It's his dad's, you know. And if it's not back in one piece by tonight, there's going to be murder done in our house. Oh, well. I suppose we better go and look for him. I'll come with you. Oh. If there's trouble, Kutsia will be there. Cafe, canal, old bridge, waste ground. Right, we need two to hold the tape. Can I get ready, Annie? No. You're not bothering with running gear, then? Not worth the effort, is it? No, I'm not bothering at all. I'm not bothered. Eh? I'm not running. You told me... I didn't tell you out, Nigel Jackson. I said I'd see. And I've seen. I'm not running. You can't let me down now. For one thing, this isn't a proper track. I've got a race on next week, and I can't afford a stupid injury. Plus, you throw your weight around too much, Nidgey. Run your own race. Right, I will. I've done no training, and I'll still walk it. And then we'll have some pain out to do, won't we, Gruy? Let's get on with it. Now well, then, Stephen Grew, can't where's my Peter? I've been looking round from everywhere. I don't know. I told you, no running. I know, I know. Uh, he's had to go. Off. He's. He's, uh, he's not well. I'm not surprised. He was clutching his stomach last night, moaning something about beans. Right, I've got you. I've got you. Now, I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is you're plotting in that adult brain of yours, Stephen, unplot it fast. Get set. Go! Bondage. They're off! Bondage. They're off! Bondage. What's that lad doing running in a balaclava? He's in the lead! Come on, the Master Avenger! Run! Run! Something familiar about him. He's gaining on you. Don't stop. You can do it. It's his knees. That's where it is. I know them knees. Come on, Master Bender. He's catching on you. <laughs> They're very knobbly. They look like... Peters! No! Peters! Will Smith, what are you doing? You, I told you, no way. at the wicket and he only needs four runs for the game. Now Capel Dave in a last desperate attempt to save the test. Ow! How's that? Ow shot! LBW! How can it be when it hit me in my guts? You were in the way. Ref! I don't know. Come on, Wooly! 
BBW, belly before wicket. You can't have that, Quidzy. I can. You can. 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 Umpire decision. Make your mind up, Wooly. I'm not out. I'm a Wooly. I don't know. I'm sweating in obvious gear. Well, you are the umpire. You are supposed to wear the jumpers. Well, the umpire says it's too hot. Match abandoned. Let's go and have some ice lollies. Well, who's buying them? Quidzy, do you think your mum would let us have one from the shop? It's worth a try. Come on. Yeah, you take the bat and you take my bike. I'm going over that wall. You're going to jump it? You'll never make it. I did it last time. I sailed it. Super gruey. Yeah, but that was his slap head nidgy chasing after you. What pressure that made you do it? You were free. All right, then, Wooly. You be nidgy. Yeah, and I'll be your dad and all. I'm going to spread your nose all over your face. Get him! Get him! Say no. What? Yes. Yes, I'll be there, ma. Yes, bye. Why didn't you say no? I was trying to say no. I've been trying since I was five years old. Anyway, she's only coming to see how we're getting on. Oh, yeah. She's not coming to see how we're getting on. She's coming to non-stop criticise from the moment she walks through the door. Hello. Out. Do you think we could have an ice lolly? Just a cheap one. I think I might have a stroke. We're out of ice lollies. We're waiting for a delivery. How about a cold drink, then? Out. Go home and get a glass of water. Well, he's allergic to water. O-U-D spells out. I haven't come in yet. Uh, never mind the court case. Out. What happened to your nose, then? Some shopkeeper banged a door on it? No, I hit it. <laughs> Good idea. Knock a bit of sense into yourself. Fell over the wall. I would have cleared it, but there weren't enough pressure. Well, there is around here. We've got a crisis on. Hello. No, no, not that. Stay where you are. Most useful thing you can do is to keep this shop gruey free for the next 48 hours. And I want a word with you, Hutsia. Why? Nose out. <laughs> My reserve. It's my special 20p I keep down my socks, so I won't spend it. And if I get robbed, they won't find it. Mm, unless they want to gas themselves. You're mad. I could get an ice lolly with that. You could have got an ice lolly with that. There's none to buy, is there? It's typical. You get one hot spell and all ices are sold out. Yeah, except for dead expensive ones. Yeah, ones with ice cream in the middle and ones with toffee and ones with chocolate and nuts and... Do this, my nose gets in the way. There you are, the jam butt eats and a glass of barley water, and it's all you get. I told you before, Peter, this is a cafe I'm running here, not a free house for all your mates. What's up with your nose, Gruy? Been sticking it where it's not wanted. <laughs> Great sense of humour, your mum. Hysterical. Gruy, Wally, quick! What so? Your bike! My bike! My bike! His bike! <laughs> What's all the panic about? I'm just having a vest on it. <laughs> Who's it your nose? Hey, weren't me, Beth. Get off his bank, Nidja. All right, don't give him a twist. I might want to buy it. How much? Well, seeing as it's you, you can't even afford a decent pair of shoes. Two quid. You what? It's falling apart, look. Watch it. Two fifty. Who are you kidding? Two fifty-five, and I look at me eyes all Get lost, Nidja. <laughs> Push me around, dipstick. will not have you got a bike if you paid me? Come on. If you'd have offered me a fiver, I'd have taken it. It's not fair. I'm fed up with being skinned all the time. Hey! Why don't you hold another jumble sale like the one you did at your house? Oh, yeah, it was brilliant. And your mum spent all afternoon going around the rest of kids' houses looking for knives and forks. And her hair dryer. When she got older, you... Look, I was only little then, weren't I? Get away, it were you before last. Why do you have to be so picky, eh? You only want some money. Look, bike. Gruey, bike! All right. I'm going now. Why not do it the easy way? Just go and ask your dad for your pocket money. Cos it's not as easy as that, is it? Never mind, Dad, in that tone of voice. Whatever it is, the answer's no. You're in big trouble, you. How 
I'm just thinking about my pocket money. Oh, well, keep thinking, cos that's near as you're going to get to any. You're still paying me back for me watch you smashed. Then I find this in two dozen bits on the table. Oh, fixing it. There were no wrong with it. Interference. Thought there might be a loose wire. <laughs> There's a loose wire, all right. It's in your head. Not one word. Not a word. This is Youth in Action Week. Our radio car will be out and about looking for young people with ideas, initiative and enterprise. Young people who've put their talents to work for others in the community. Local firms are offering cash prizes to deserve uh, Don't even think about it. They're after kids who help people, not turn their lives into a nightmare. Ah, oh, Stephen. Mum? Have you been fighting? No, I banged it. Well, come on, we'll put a proper dressing on that. It's all swollen. Yeah, looks like it might be going septic. <laughs> I expect he's been sticking it in where it's not wanted. <laughs> it can't just be coincidence. There must be this grown-up comic book with all the same jokes in it. The lad with a nose for business. The lad who, if he picked his nose, should have picked another one. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Rukak! Yeah! And tell me, Stephen, what's your special enterprise? Jumping walls? Fixing radios? <laughs> nightmares. I give people... Nightmares. <laughs> I don't think we'll be giving you the prize, Stephen. We wouldn't dream of it. It's all right. It's morning. I have a nightmare. Oh, no. No, you are having a nightmare. I'm going to be good today. I'm going to have ideas and enterprise and initiative and all that. Well, couldn't you just be quiet? No, I want to be helpful. Oh, no. I'll tidy my room. What did you say? I mean it. I'll tidy my room. Okay. Well, I'll get you breakfast. He's got me baffled. Oh, cleaning up his room? No. Why does he have to eat his breakfast off the floor, like a dog? It's local paper. I'm reading. But it's last week's. I put it down because the floor's all wet where I've been defrosting. I've got it. What? Rabies? <laughs> no, it's the article in the paper about this youth in action thing. There's one kid they're going on about here who's been doing a sponsored car wash. So? Well, I could do yours. No, no. Go on, I'm trying to be helpful. If you're peeing, if it weren't perfect, you wouldn't have to pay me. <laughs> Dead right, I wouldn't. It'd keep me quiet and out of mischief. Now listen, carefully. I'm coming out to inspect it after. It's a better I'd be perfect. What's up? Did your dad make you? Enterprise initiative. Dad said he'd give me 50p if it were perfect. You want out calf? Yeah. You coming? When my dad's done inspection. Just clean that blip off before your dad sees it. A oh, blip. Thank <laughs> you. 
Perfect. That's what we agreed. Yes, Dad. Perfect. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's not entirely perfect. Oh, it's good enough for me. You've done a good job there. Praise where it's due. And it's not due to you very often. No. 50p. And 10p bonus for a job well done. I don't deserve it. Perhaps I've been too hard on the lad. Stephen! Hey! See you. You've your time. Got to go and help me, ma'am, now. Did you get your 50p? Yeah, 60 with bonus. And I'm going to need it, cos I'm going to have to leave home. You and your blip. Did you fix it? Yeah, like when you pick a spot and it spreads. Oh. See ya. Yeah, I did some change and put in my pool. We haven't got any change. My mum's going to get some. She'll go spur if she comes back and finds you in here with that. And she'll blame me and all. Enterprising initiative. Just think of it as me expanding the business. Driving cafe now, innit? Look, your mum don't like me leaning my bag against the window, and I've got to keep an eye on it in case Midgey lets me tyres down. You fix easy on him. Don't let him bug you. He don't bug me. I bug him. It's like that detective thing on the TV. The hunter and the hunted in the jungle of the city streets. I can send him a mile off. Well, I think your extra sentry powers are on the blink, Superboy. It's growing. It's gonna swell up. And some alien's gonna burst out. Hey, bet he'll go man if she sees that in here. Leave me alone, Nidgy. Don't fret. I'll listen to you talking all that drivel. I'm not your enemy. It's you that starts all trouble.